Oh, the Malaysians is very cool here. Back in uh, KL, there's a parking space there for motorcycles and go straight. Now I'll show it to you. This is Jalan Bulan or Moon Road. And we go down there, you'll be at Lawyer Plaza. You can see there, there's Lawyer Plaza. And you see the shit colored building that's very tall there. That's Bajai Times Square. There's a bank here. This this road here, I forgot what's the name of it. Is uh, that's the Chiming Hainanese chicken rice halal. It's uh, that I mean, it's halal. Muslims can eat there. There's one in uh, Jalan Kelang Lama near Mid Valley, so I used to eat there quite a lot. My sister loves that place, but uh, the last time I was there, I did not fancy the soup at all. So hmm. Quite nice food actually, but uh, it's alright. So let's see what this road here. Hmm, and why am I here? This road is famous for its uh, massage of one's foot and a lot of uh, something like a night market thing, something like it. Christmas already is it? Oh yes it is. It's November oh did I tell you the date? Today is the 19th of November 2016. It's a Thursday. It's around 6 30 pm. So I'm going straight uh, on this road. I'll end up at or be passing Isoten, the Japan store with a new shopping complex in lot 10. Lot 10 is the name of the building. And further on there will be a high class shopping complex called uh, called the pavilion where there's going to be a celebrity sighting a guy a man a Canadian Chinese fella uh, kind of like a movie actor I wouldn't call a star but uh, just a movie actor so So here you can massage your massage. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Ah oh, yes, a lot of construction is happening here and there are a lot of hotels. Uh a lot of uh, gaijins around or gringos the backpackers also, Bintang guest house so this is like the center of Kuala Lumpur, kinda like the center everything is kinda like in walking distance of everything else uh, here also is a bit dodgy you know how would I say kinda like grimy the, uh, the walkway is that way, straight or I can walk through here. Hmm. Interesting, I'm not sure. I'm not that, uh, I'm not that familiar with that place. Well, at least they have the palm trees. You can see a lot of tall palm trees there. And uh, hmm. kind of like weird. Why is that weird lady holding a doll, baby doll? Uh, very strange. Never mind. Uh, KFC there, I think I've eaten there before. It's uh, upstairs and ate with my parents and suddenly there were a couple of Malay guys, uh, youngsters, uh, went up there and uh, well, they picked the leftovers uh, that was uh, left by other patrons, so other patrons they did not like KFC, so they left quite a substantial amount of uneaten chicken wings or chicken drumsticks. And the uh, Malay boys they just uh, ate through it all. That's uh, weird. They did not need to pay anything at all. They just ate through it all. So let's uh, walk through here. A lot of construction workers around. Money changing, of course. Of course. Most of them are from other countries, so. Besides being a money changer, maybe they can uh, send to their respective countries like Bangladesh, Pakistan, 
India, whatever. So it's a non scenic route. Uh, the activity is around 7 p.m. and now 6:20 p.m. So there are a lot of uh, construction happening here. This, this is an old building so I think they're going to make it into something new. Uh, this place used to be very old because of the old buildings and now uh, thanks to modernization and uh, there's money to be made in modernizing stuff and uh, yeah there's always money to be made in, at the right place at the right time. Even though our economy is terrible nowadays, as uh, evident by the number of like beggars around, the economy is not doing well. The food is expensive nowadays, very expensive. Thank you, our Prime Minister. Lovely. The pavilion I'm going to. <coughs> and uh, I think in front is uh, ISO 10, the Japan store or lot 10. And a uh, green sign means I can cross. If you go there, you end up at Sungai uh, Wang Plaza. There, I'm not sure where you end up at. So I idea, make sure you, when you're walking around the KL city center, uh, look left and right because there are motorcyclists around. Oh my god, there are so many beggars around. Oh, there are so many beggars. Never mind. Everybody needs to work. I should be begging. Oh, yeah, shit. Why not beg? Hey, support me through Patreon. One US dollar a month would do. Thank you very much. If you enjoy my videos, try to support me. HSBC there. Oh. A lot of man mannequins with white hair. Mannequin challenge is uh, not yet sprayed to Malaysia. So West Pavilion, there's a Grand Millennium Hotel there. Looks like it's just a piece of, of building. It's like a piece of cardboard, it's very flat for this. It's kind of weird. Oh no, another hole. No, I don't like the scenery in the hole. Sometimes you gotta take risks. Oh, Muslim uh, shops. Goss Malaysia is a Muslim country. <coughs> and you can see the pavilion, very high class uh, shopping complex. There will be a second pavilion. Najib's wife has a big stake, or the Najib family, our Prime Minister, has a big stake in the Pavilion 2 which is uh, somewhere about Bukit Jalil area, so it's still under construction. It will be a big shopping centre and it's nowhere near here. Yep, this is uh, KL Centre, that one is uh, at the fringes of not KL, I don't know, yeah, it's not in KL proper. This is uh, Shupan. You can see the yellow sign there, the Shupin, the uh, uh, Korean celebrity, uh, shit, I forgot his name, I think Su, something. That's uh, where I captured her through the lens of my camcorder. Ah, yes, the name of this, this uh, shopping complex is Fahrenheit. 
Oh uh, shit, I'm sweating now. I'm actually like wearing cardigan because I'm afraid that it might be cold in the pavilion. So I, and also when I'm riding my bike, I don't want the wind to like make me cold and I might catch a cold again. So I'm in the midst of uh, recovering, kinda. I'm in the coughing stage now. The weakening stage has already passed, hopefully. So you have flu, you yeah, have many stages. One is fucked up stage, uh, beginning with uh, sore throat, then weakening, that means your joints will be painful or sore. Then now coughing a bit. So I'll be very busy. This is not the tree, okay? This is not the Swarovski's the crystal tree. No, no, no. This is just a normal tree to celebrate a pagan holiday called uh, Christmas. And uh, just for you guys who do not know, Christmas does not mean Jesus Christ's birthday at all. So that's Pavilion, the huge building with lots of uh, signs of of uh, expensive what you might call it watches. Coming across to you. There's always a lot. Of, I mean, there's always a jam on this road. Not sure why. Always. So, ooh, nice little bowl. Or three bowls. <coughs> so that's Fahrenheit. And uh, Lot 10 is a green building. It has always been green. Lot 10 has been around for ages since. You know, I'm not sure. You can wiki it. I think there's a wiki post. Oh, cute girl in the blue pinafore. I'm not a pedophile, okay? Pedophile is if you are interested in girls 10 years or below. That's another word for it. This is JW Marriott. Ah, any pretty goods? No, no. Let's go inside. Heaven has a underground food area, so you can go there to eat some Asian food like uh, old Tian and stuff. Uh, last time I was there was uh, maybe a year ago, plus plus. So this one here is Christmas tree. A Christmas tree. I go to the toilet to take a piss actually. Oh, does it work? No problem. Ah. For you pedophiles out there, if you like kids who are in Sailor Moon uniforms. So this is the main entrance as stated by the sign there. There used to be a love, uh, red love sign akin to the one in Japan. Uh, which part of Japan? I'm not sure. I think it's Akihabara. The dweeb or geek or nerd section of Tokyo. Oh, Christmas, eh? Christmas is uh, about a little bit more than a month away. I think Christmas is on the 23rd of December. I might be wrong, don't quote me on that. A lot of Christmas trees. And that Spritzer sponsored Christmas tree. So I better keep my health in check. Because it's quite a busy few days afterwards. Oh, there's a merry-go-round, sorry, it's not Christmas tree, it's a merry-go-round go -round made of crystals, overpriced crystals. <coughs> Cartier there. A few floors. Uh, up there, there was like a, what should we call it, anime, con. <coughs> <coughs> so 
So today is a Thursday. That's the one, is it? Don't know whether they accept the media or not. No idea. Hopefully the what do you call uh, music is not copyrighted. So let's uh, go and ask them. Just in case you, you do not know, it does not snow in Malaysia. It's a mini drone, I saw this now. Oh, Star Hill is here. Wow. Star Hill Gallery. Uh, I think it's a nice place to hang out around there. If you are feeling tired, there's a hotel there that my friend used. Named Dr. Hans. He used it uh, when he was tired of. Of a uh, of a shit. Uh, okay, let's walk at the other side of the road. Not the normal side. The, the one I used was the other side. Fahrenheit. Uh, a shoopin. No idea. One there was a guy in a dress. Thai quality is much better. Thai goes. No, Thai transverse tights. Wow, so pretty. Prettier than a real girl. Would you bang a transverse tight? I would if it was Thai. Because Thailand is Thai. Ah, my back hurts. Mr. Godfrey, that guy from Penang, who's a Canadian, uh, is quite handsome. You can see why the girls are swooned by his dapper good looks. Tall man. Even I, who is not gay and homosexual, want to fuck him. Uh, I don't want to be fucked by him, but I want to fuck him. Okay, there's a difference. There's no gay when you fuck somebody. Okay, no homo. Is that the same principle if you get a blowjob? You're not gay. The person who's giving you a blowjob is gay. Or the person who is sucking your cock is gay. You are receiving the the blowjob from a guy or a girl. Does not matter. My nice art. Beats by Dr. Frey. Wow. I'm 
the music is not copyrighted. If it is, then I'm fucked. Copyright is a serious business. Oh, it's serious business because it takes forever to actually. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Can't cross. It's difficult for me to cross here. Oh, there's a. Uh, oh, there's some uh, kebabs here. Arabian nights, Arabian dreams. Whoever will not, and lower will watch, and a thousand good ways. Arabian nights, with Arabian dreams. Forever will not, and cock and sot. And there's the pasta malam there, it's the night market. And they're picking out KLCG. And of course that one is LRT. Lot 10. And my turn. Or not. Quickly, quickly, I want to turn. I want to go straight. Oh fuck. The scooter. Oh, my back hurts. This is a good time for a good massage. With a happy ending, hopefully. A lot of construction happening around here. No idea why. What are they going to build here? Maybe a flyover? They already have an LRT there. So. But now they are going to make it a bit taller, I think. I don't remember what it was before the construction. Wow, I can smell some durian. Mm. Makes me want to eat some durian. Ah. Good 
living here. Now KFC is around here. But I swan that this is not Malaysia. It feels really not like Malaysia at all. It feels more like a more like a failed state. Like there are tons of refugees everywhere. It really feels like it. And that's the Purple KL Tower. So many beggars around here. Fuck man. It's crazy. It's like they are crawling out of, out of the woodwork. I mean, tourists, they come here to stay. I mean, backpackers, they are like... Yeah... The perception of Asian countries will be... Uh, tarnished by the varieties of other cultures in this small specific area of Kuala Lumpur. That does not reflect the true nature of what Malaysia really feels or looks like. Here is like a failed Arab state like in Syria. So now this one is more Malaysian, not the Arabian. Oh sorry. If uh, tour tourists uh, Ringos or Kuailos, they if they were to like go to Ipoh then they will find that uh, there are less uh, elements of, of uh, other cultures like Bangladeshi culture, Arabian culture here. Here is like a little Arab. The only difference is there is no oil to be gotten out of the land. <coughs> I see there are a lot of artists around here. So time to cross the road and take a looky looky. My motorcycle is around that area too. So hopefully I'm not blocking their way. Nice. I wish I had an iPhone back like say 20 years ago and it would make my life much much easier. I mean if I wanted to be an artist. Huh? Oh my bike was missing. Oh no no no, it's okay. Hopefully the music is not copyrighted. Very nice voice from the blind artist and of course the sculptor. You ask money from you if you were to park your bike here. All you need to do is ignore the fucker. Last time I paid him one buck already. Kind of like mentally ill. That's a lot. So let's get some smokes from this place. And hopefully you enjoyed the, the whatever this was the, the uh, sw swastika crystal chandelier merry-go-round thing. Support me through Patreon or PayPal. Love you. I love you.